Hi Cancer, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Cancer, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And yes Cancer, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers, welcome in newcomers, do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us, we welcome you in. So Cancer, Cancer newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person and in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, your mutual energies etc. If this is your reading Cancer, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, I have the Hierophant in reverse. Well, something went wrong with a happily ever after relationship, a commitment. But from what I'm seeing right now, Cancer, there is one person who really wants to have a reunion. They want to recapture, have a reunion, reconciliation and they are very clear in their mind about that, that they want to talk about it, they want to clear the air, whereas the other person, they feel um, there's been so much of conflict, not even sure whether, you know, this is, this is any more a committed connection or this can last or um, at least that's how they're feeling right now. I'm not sure even person B is 100% convinced yet. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to start with the with the dialogue message cards, uh, Cancer. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then we'll start the clarification. Cancer and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Cancer and their person. Cancer and their person spirit. Cancer and their person, if they could say something. Thank you. I'm going to take a few more Cancer from another deck. And uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Cancer and their person spirit. Cancer and their person. One more. Thank you. Just a few more Cancer from a third deck as well. And then we'll start our reading. Cancer and their person. All right, good to go, Cancer. Let's start your reading. The first one here says, You're all I ever need. You complete me. I've never experienced a love and a connection like this before. Please don't give up on me. My pride and ego led us astray. I have not given up on you, even though it might seem like it. See, I told you, I don't think either of you have really given up, even though there is trouble. I can see that, but uh, I don't think either of you have really truly given up on each other. I look at your pictures for hours on end. You are still so beautiful to me. I carry guilt for the way I mistreated you. Each day I think about how it would be like if we were together. One day I'll be ready to surrender. I fear that you'll never look at me the same. It's hard for me to look at myself in the mirror. I'm not your prince. And you are not my princess. I am your emperor and you are my empress. How can you love me after I effed everything up with our connection? So somebody is, uh, I can see, see it in the cards as well. Somebody has a lot of shame and guilt and remorse about, well, what happened in the past. I have other things on my mind other than you. I'm learning that I can still have a great life without you. I do talk about you. 
I'm afraid of commitment. Your sexy body has me drooling. I want you here next to me. I stalk you. I need security. So Cancer, these are some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading. Of course, with our Angel Blessing card as always, Cancer. Let's see what my angels have for you. And uh, as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message before we start the clarification. This didn't get a chance to shuffle spirit. So for Cancer, please, a blessing, guidance, advice or a message. is and the card I have here for you is safe travel so this is like uh, ending one phase of your life to move on to the next right so there could be a possibility of uh, ending a difficult phase in this relationship and maybe taking it to the next level to make it a better one who knows let's see what's happening in the connection now Ca cancer uh, is this uh, leaving a past relationship and moving forward or is it leaving the toxicity that's come into this connection and trying to make it better so that a new chapter can begin right so let's start with person a's energy and cancer of course you know i'm picking up only two soul energies right <coughs> sorry excuse me just gonna pause it for a second and take a sip of water yeah sorry and uh, like i was saying i'm just picking up on two soul energies here this is not man is here woman is there or whatever irrespective of the pictures that come on the cards right this is uh, just two souls who are energetically connected to each other how they feel about each other and what's the most likely action they may take towards each other okay so starting with person a's energy and cancer you could be either side you'll figure it out once you hear the reading so person A in your feelings, I see the three of cups. What's that? Three of cups. Yeah, I think person A still has a lot of passion for person B. Yeah, their sexy body has them drooling. I mean, person uh, A sees person B as uh, attractive as uh, beautiful as uh, somebody who they want in their life they feel that their per this person adds adventure and excitement into their life and they do want to reunite and celebrate life with their person once again and they want to tell them some truth right they want the silence to end so that some reconciliation can happen where they you know things can be spontaneous and fun and beautiful once again I think person A does want to talk king of swords come on say something now that uh, you're here and sitting in your feelings as the king of swords with your sword held high and wanting to speak the truth let me give you the mic what would you like to say here king of swords has the mic they go to reveal their feelings okay nine of cups king of swords justice Yes, uh, I think person A, but they want to make a confession. It's almost like I want to make a confession that uh, yes, first they want to tell their person that you are the one who makes all my dreams and wishes come true. But yes, at that point, I, I agree that I was sitting in the king of swords in reverse energy. Right? I was in that energy where I was uh, being maybe a bit controlling or maybe not opening up my emotions to you and uh, being harsh or cruel or rude or mean or just maybe they told lies, I don't know. They are realizing the injustice that, that has been done because uh, maybe they were sitting in some self-indulgent behavior. Right? Uh, they are very embarrassed and very ashamed and feeling very left out in the cold which they want to get out of now. Person A wants to now be become that king of swords upright instead of being in reverse. They're acknowledging, they're acknowledging that yes, I didn't do wrong and I'm very ashamed of my actions. Why do you feel this way, Person A? Tell me. Why do you feel this way? Ten of cups in reverse. Why is the ten of cups in reverse? They didn't put the work in. 
they didn't put the work in they took maybe things for granted or they didn't make a choice in the past maybe they wanted to have more options they just failed to make a choice i think they didn't actually put in the work to make this 10 of cups uh, scenario a long lasting one and they feel they've lost it now not only lost it they feel that they've got some karma regarding their behavior where all the games that they played actually it all kind of made them into a loser they do want things to change and they are ready now i feel to put in the work eight of pentacles eight of pentacles yes they want to return they want to return they want things to start moving in a smooth fashion again this person is now ready to take responsibility to start putting in the work to fix the mess that they've made they realize that because of their their not putting in enough effort into this beautiful 10 of cups scenario they lost it and now they feel like a loser for all the mind games they played yeah they're a little scared they may not be able to manifest this 10 of cups back again because of their own past uh, trickster ways or something but this person is ready now they're ready they want to come back and at least try they definitely want to fight for this connection cancer and they want to show their person that i am ready to take responsibility I want to take charge. I want to be that emperor. There was a card which said that you're not I'm not your prince and you're not my princess. I am your emperor and you are my empress. This person has woken up to the fact that they need to actually put in the hard work now because they failed to do so in the past. How do you feel about the connection now person A? How do you see person B? How do you feel about the connection now? strength in reverse they feel like a fool they feel like a fool they feel that uh, because of their weak behavior or their rash ways or their immature you know communication or um, just being flighty i guess uh, this person feels i ruined a beautiful connection and uh, it all backfired on them maybe this person was weak or did something or they got caught or something happened here which they feel they feel like a fool now and they desperately desperately want a second chance this person wants to revive this connection whoever person a is they have a lot of shame regret remorse for damaging a connection which was beautiful five of cups five of cups five of cups they're scared they're scared to even message right now from what i feel this person is going through a lot of fear because of their own regret their sadness and uh, knowing how things kind of just got messed up in the past this person is very scared to even send a message right now they are hurting big time right there's a lot of heartbreak that they are feeling now because of the stagnancy which they have caused in this connection what about person b how do you feel about person b Oh, they love person B. This is like this is my person. This is my soulmate. I've known person B for a long time, maybe many lives. I feel they're my best friend, and all I want to do is rush back to them. Okay, so what you'll have to take some action for that, Emperor. So, well, I'm going to open that action card later, Cancer. Let's go on to person B and see how person B is feeling currently. Uh, and what action they will take i'll open all the both the action cards together later so person b in your feelings i see the five of wands what's that okay person b feels there was some argument there was some fight maybe regarding a third party situation right and uh, person b is now feeling that uh, they were disrespected in this connection they were made to feel that they were just one of the many they were not given their position 
as you know the one person b feels that this connection is over and um, because of whatever too many people in the mix or too, too much competition or too many people or uh, third parties or something person b is quite miffed at the moment saying uh uh i i wasn't treated right in this connection ten of pentacles in reverse person b yeah person b i think heart of heart person b as much as they don't have the clarity uh whether this ten of pentacles can come back into you know the upright again or not i have a person i have a feeling i don't know person b still hasn't kind of accepted the ending of this connection they may not say it they may not even acknowledge it to themselves but i do see that they somewhere somewhere deep in their heart uh, may be waiting to see what's going to happen will my person fight for this connection is there going to be a second another chance meanwhile i think guarding their energy healing from whatever's happened but it's somewhere in their subconscious they don't want this connection to end either why do you feel this way person b uh page of swords page of swords i think person b found out some information in the past they found out some information about the uh, in the past about maybe being breadcrumbed or maybe they found out that person a was giving to more than one or there was some kind of imbalance in this connection but somewhere even though they are angry bitter maybe appearing to have cut off person a there is still that looking over their shoulder to see hey this was my 10 of cups this was was my four of wands uh four of wands four of wands four of wands yeah i'm telling you person b is stuck still they may not admit it even now maybe in the comments you people will say no we not waiting this or in the other subconsciously i think you still haven't made that choice to completely let go that is say they still like stuck on person a still seeing person a as uh, the love of their life right there is a lot of love here still deep within maybe outwardly i see person b feeling i don't trust them and i'm cutting them out and i was disrespected and this can't be a ten of pentacles scenario it's over they cheated or they made me feel bad but why do i still sense that person b still hasn't made that final choice they're still looking over their shoulder to see hey but i did love them we could have had a ten of cups we could have had stability together Okay so person B tell me uh how do you see the connection now how do you feel about person A the chariot See again the same thing again the same thing it's almost like yes person B is trying very hard maybe to move forward maybe to turn their back on uh, person a because they feel that there is no no stability here there is no stability mom ghara taro this connection has come to an end there were third parties or this connection is just not going to work out they didn't bring any strength to this connection i'm dropping this connection i don't want to be juggled and uh, i don't think that there is any kind of commitment or anything solid left in this connection anymore no they're not my soulmate i think this contract is over but then why are you still waiting for them to come forward there is still that yes you're trying very hard to move forward you're trying very hard to turn your back person b but why do i sense with these two cards that there is a sense of waiting for a message from person a even now because deep in your heart you feel this could have been you do have love for person a even now 
What's the page of wands? Page of wands. Yeah, see, person B is only stopping this connection right now is because they feel person A did not give to them. They were selfish, they were self-centered, they were attention-seeking, they were greedy with their resources, time, energy, effort, whatever. Uh, that's the only reason person B uh, is moving towards being single. It's not that they're moving towards, you know, somebody else and saying, you know, I'll find, you know, I've got a new lover or a new love in my life. No, person B is single right now. They, they still, I mean, not still, they've always felt that not felt they always saw person a as their counterpart they always wanted person a to take responsibility and be that king of pentacles their forever person to somebody who takes charge and is there for the long haul the only reason person b is now single and trying to move on is because of person A's selfish behavior. Not because they didn't love them. They're trying very hard but I still somewhere feel it's their head says it's over, their heart still looks over their shoulder and wishes things could be different. Maybe there's still a chance there'll be a message. Maybe there's still a chance that they'll come forward and fight for this connection and be that King of Pentacles for me. Okay, so let's see what actions you guys will take then. I'm going to take another deck for this one, Cancer, and while I shuffle these cards, may I request you, if you could just tap that like button for me, please, helps the videos to circulate and newcomers and repeating viewers, if you are not subscribed already, we welcome you to join us and be part of our Omkara family. All right, person A, let's start with you. Most likely action towards person B or otherwise. Knight of Wands. Well, person A definitely has a lot of passion for person B. But why is that an action? How is that an action? Six of Wands, Two of Wands, Ace of Wands, Emperor, okay. So person A still has a lot of passion. They want to rush to, with all their pa passion that they have. They want to rush towards person B because they, they want to have victory with person B. They feel their ultimate victory would be to get back with person B. Yes, this person is planning. They are thinking, they are planning how to make this work, but they are absolutely sure that they want to have a passionate brand new beginning with person B. This person is, is leveled up. They have leveled up. So even if they come back with, you know, all their passions roaring, it's only because they are now ready for, uh, they know who they want, they know what they want and they're ready to start again and they want to put all their, you know, passion in and it's not, this is not clear energy. This is emperor energy to say, I know what I want and I'm ready to go out for it. Right now, they could be kind of at crossroads wondering how to come forward, but they are definitely sure, 100% sure. Okay, so person B, let's see you. Any action from your end towards person A or otherwise? Six of Pentacles. Person B says, all I ever wanted was a balanced connection. I want an equal give and take. I want a connection which makes me feel valued. What I give is what I want back in return. So how's that an action from your end? Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles as an action, person B. Hanged man, yes. Eight of Pentacles, nine of wands and the nine of cups. Yep, I'm telling you, person B can say whatever they want to say, but they are still stuck on person A. They are still stuck. They're wanting a revival, a, a rebirth of this connection. If if there is an if here with person B saying I want to sh see them putting the work in I want them to prove to me that they are ready to fight 
fight for this connection now right uh, if i think that happens that would make person be extremely happy that's what they wished for all along a balanced equal partnership so person b is had they haven't moved on no they're still stuck hoping and wishing person a would turn into that emperor which i think they are trying to turn or they have already turned into that emperor but spirit why why is the hierophant in reverse as the overall energy for um, cancer's reading today hierophant in reverse why is the hierophant in reverse three of wands death and rebirth and the hierophant upright yes whatever has been disrupted in this connection um cancer if you have been waiting for some answer some resolution wondering is it over is it over or is is there going to be a rebirth a new life being pumped into this connection hierophant upright if you want it this can have a tremendous outcome this can go right back to being the hierophant upright once again person a seems ready absolutely clear of who they want person b is kind of uh, mind training themselves to believe that it's over i don't think they believe it 100% either so totally depends on the action i think this emperor takes if they put in the work if they you know show person b that they have now they are now serious about this this can absolutely turn around into a beautiful commitment once again so that's all i have for you cancer till next time then love and light take care namaste